When good friends are drinking Miller Lite, they just know when it's time to go home for one more round. Miller Lite, hold true. When I arrived here in 2016, I sat with every coach and every staff member and really talked about um, what our strengths were and what our weaknesses were. One of our strengths was our location. Being in the Metroplex was you know, a place where there were a lot of recruits, but there's also a lot of competition for that talent. And we had not established ourselves as a place where you go and have uh, a lot of success. And so when we really started to look at uh, what was the, the need that, that kind of elevated to the top, it was the, the indoor practice facility. Someone has got to jumpstart the program. What really got it going was Don Loveless was truly the first to jump in. He was the man that, that I think really should be credited for getting this thing going. Where I got involved was what Rand told me, how much more money do we need to get shovels in the ground? And I think that's when my brother Al and I came together and were able to do the difference. First thing we had to do was develop the scope of the facility. We know that we're going to have a, a practice facility in there. Uh, there's going to be some grass, but what size, what, you know, what, what width, how much runoff do we need in the end zones, on the ends? We took ideas from all over the place and kind of morphed this one together. Uh, we looked at, you know, peers that we thought were in the top of the group. Marshall, Miami, Ohio, Colorado, Oklahoma State, Liberty, Florida took features from each one of those and ultimately arrived at, at this facility and uh, then we had architects determine the cost and from there we started the fundraising. You talk about momentum in every facet. Last year comprehensively was our best year in terms of winning percentage in 40 seasons at the University of North Texas. Yes, sir. So this facility is going to be another project that allows us to do that. It's going to be 196 uh, feet by 426 feet. That's a big, big building. It was uh, somewhat similar, although much smaller, to when we broke ground on Apogee Stadium. And what, we've got a lot of momentum going at the university right now in our football and basketball and, 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 and key sports programs. Uh, this is just another step. To, towards, you know, or, or along that journey that we're all on and we're all excited about. So. You know, it's it's a first step, as, as we've seen now with the rollout of the master plan, it's a first step in a long strategy, if you will, for, for facilities and, and uh, improving the brand and, and, and what the coaches and student athletes have. Why? We ain't got a choice. We have no choice. If we're going to be competitive in, the, in our conference, any other conference, and these young people come through here, we got a problem if we don't have this competitive advantage of having this indoor facility. In our region, we're competing with Baylor, Houston, Texas Tech. You know, athletes expect us to be on par with those schools if they're going to select North Texas. And then uh, when you look at the athletes, we, you know, when they're working out in late part of the summer and we have the heat stroke issue in, in Texas in late August, early September. The latter part of the fall, we have the rain, rain uh, conditions. Lightning, especially winds, and then obviously what's, what's happening this time of year with the cold weather, so. And so it just really, throughout the year, uh, to make sure that we have the, the least interruption possible for the student athlete schedules. It's not just football. You're gonna have soccer, you're gonna have some track, some, some relay people in there that couldn't practice in, in certain kind of weathers. Our student athletes know that was for them, and when we bring them here and, and we talk about how committed we are to their personal growth and development, um, that's tangible evidence of that. There's really three uh, things I would say about the facility that I love. One is um, we do have uh, a recruiting uh, lounge off the side of it. He, being here in DFW, we have a lot of camps with a lot of prospects that come through. And so when the rules permit, it gives us a, a chance to have a place to pull people aside and tell them a little more about uh, the University of North Texas and our athletic program. I think the second thing I'm really excited about is the branding presence of it. We talk in our facilities master plan about um, being a billboard. Those mean green letters on the side of that building are 24 feet tall. They light up at night. The last thing that I'm really excited about is this is the only construction project I've ever been involved with. That from the start to the finish, we really didn't cut anything out. 
We have traditional infill for, for your turf, same infill that's on most fields all over the place. But outside, even though it's not a lot of turf, we think we'll see a lot of work go on here with our student athletes. So the same cool turf product with the, the cork infill that we have over in Apogee Stadium, um, that's 20 to 30 degrees cooler in the blazing heat, is actually on this outdoor field here. So. We want our kickers to be able to have a place to come kick and so didn't want to put permanent goal posts in the end zone because we're going to use this space for a lot of different stuff. This net comes down for practice and then if you want to go up you just go hit a button and it's up in the ceiling. You wouldn't even know it was here. And we have cameras mounted in the end zones. Those can be controlled remotely from this deck right here so that we can get end zone shots of practice. To have our greatest of all time, he's with current players. We're tying again together excellence and tradition with today's player. Um, and then the best part is when you use the bathroom, as you're walking out this tunnel, you can stop and look back and say, thanks, Mean Joe, and just keep walking. And we've watched it go up for the past couple months, and it's just been so eager just to get in and just counting down the days. It was awesome watching them go in there and see it for the first time, and our coaches. Our co a lot of our, most of our coaches had never uh, been in it until we opened it up for all. And you just look up, and it's just, you have the big TV screen, you have the clock scenario, you have the scoreboard. The natural light that we took, uh, the extra 10 yards that we took in the end zone so the offensive line can do their thing. It's just state of the art. It's just, you just kind of look at it and you're just like in disbelief of just what it looks like inside. You'll go to a, one of the top programs in the nation, they have the same exact thing as us, so it's just pretty cool just to have this indoor for, uh, for our team. If we're going to seek out the best people, our belief was truly that we had to be able to compete. And this is competition, what you see behind us over there. It ranks with the best of them, and students coming here seeing this, our commitment to these players is there whether it's the indoor, whether it's uh, with nutrition, whether it's in the academic center, weight room, uh, with coaches. Um, you know, we're, we're doing everything we can to make sure we set these guys up for a successful future on and off the field. Thanks, Bean Joe. When good friends are drinking Miller Lite, they just know when it's time to go home. For one more round. Miller Lite. Hold true.